Okay, hi everyone, and welcome to our Awakening Your Innate Manifestation Ability and Taking Charge of Your Hologram. So, this is really about taking control of your life and transforming it by your own inner ability to manifest. And the slide here says it all. So, this was in response to a two hour webinar we did, knowing that some people are busy, and this is basically the 15 minute version. Anyway, this will be very quick. So, this is what we covered basically about learning about transforming energy, reading energy about how even paying high taxes, about losing money in investments, cash flow issues, all kinds of stuff. So not just a physical thing, but is actually an energetic or spiritual or mind thing that's going on within you and how you can actually shift that. So we made an offer on a course, which I will we'll just allude to briefly at the end. And just again, Everything is energy and it can be transformed, which means you can take control of your life and change it. And that was the whole essence of our webinar. So this is a very brief summary of who we said this was for, the big problem that people are facing. Either one, you're not making enough money and nothing's working. You are successful, but getting absolutely you know, destroyed by the tax office and governments and all kinds of other awful things that just seem to keep coming out of the blue. And you're like, well, why is this happening to me? Like, this shouldn't be happening to me, but it is. And the third one is you're not really having all, any of that bad stuff but as much, but you just want to evolve. You just desire to serve the planet more, make a whole lot more money, improve your health even more, and impact and influence more people. So there are the three kinds of people, really, and if those. So, yeah, really negative, anything from negative money experiences, blockages and in investments and losing money, tax audits, getting awful speeding fines, just keep cropping up for no good reason. All of this is just really part of a holographic reality that you're creating for yourself. So I just shared a bit about my own background and the fact that I've got tax experience, 30 odd years now, former lawyer, accountant, and basically the founder of a Awakening Within and City Awakening Online. Church is really the best, isn't a good word. I mean, probably more online spiritual activation center, but it's very much in the teaching about the mind, mastering the mind and mastering the spirit. So. The reality is the future of medicine and the future of this kind of work is going to see a big increase in people understanding the etheric or mental or spiritual realm and how that affects our daily life in the physical. So I just shared how I spoke on cruise ships, <clears throat> shared the stage with Branson and Schwarzenegger, Richard Branson and Schwarzenegger, spoken at many events all over the world, just a few samples. And shared my own story, and you can see the balance between the financial accounting tax of this guy on the right and the spiritual kind of yogi teaching, energetically connecting on the left. So then we started to explore manifestation and said, is it magic or scientific? And I went through and just explained very simply that we're manifesting every minute hour of the day by our thoughts and choices. It said your present state of life is a sum of your last 1,000 thoughts or choices. So if life's not quite going as you pleased or you think you should be seeing more, look at your last 1,000 thoughts, choices, and even your spoken words because your body listens and takes action as the mouth speaks. I said that the subconscious mind and conscious mind are like, think of him like a movie projector in your outer world as the movie screen. So whatever's going on in your outer world is a direct reflection of your inner world and what's layering on you. And the truth is you've got your own belief system, your parentally inherited beliefs, your beliefs from government, beliefs from the mass media, from the mind, from the friends, from the partner you have, who your, the consciousness of the people around you. So that's a little clue as to being very selective who speaks into your life and who you hang out with. I gave heaps of examples, which I went through in more detail in the main webinar, challenging beliefs and what you believe and things like that. We looked at other things like around taxes, like do you believe, for example, that the more money you make, the more tax you pay? Well, look at Uber and Facebook and Google, the more money they make, the less tax they pay. So just little things like that we discussed. Went through all this kind of stuff, looked at beliefs around money and explored these kind of things. We then discussed the science behind manifesting and explained, and I just, there's a number of slides. Here's a sample slide where I actually introduced some really well-known physicists and PhD people who have now started to accept and acknowledge the quantum realm or esoteric realm 
is a very real realm and actually has far more impact upon our daily life than even a quant even than classical physics or the physical realm. Really until the 1800s, prevailing science was very heavily towards that. But as time's gone on, more and more physicists are now acknowledging that the quantum realm has greater power. There's numerous experiments we've gone through and research, and like I said, this is was all, it's all covered the two hours. And there were five conclusions I proved or showed in the webinar. Quantum physics, proof in science that we're all interconnected with each other, all of us one another, that space and time or location doesn't exist, it's all an illusion, and how that can actually mean you can create anything you want anywhere at any time. Things or objects aren't localized, but are spread through the parts that we're all interconnected, even our brain, our body parts. And the most astounding thing is holographic theory. Things don't exist until observed and remain ways until that point, which really means in simple English that that coffee cup which you're holding in your hand doesn't exist unless you actually observe it. Until then, it's just a waveform. The telly is a good example of that. You, you see a blank screen, and until you turn it on, then the waves turn into particles and you see an image. And once you get that that applies to all areas of your life, it's life transforming. So we then went through a number of different slides. In summary, what we're really saying is that the law of attraction and frequency is like gravity. It's not moral, not emotional, doesn't care what's fair or unfair, it's just what is. So you can do all the right things, have the best account in the law, have the right structures, the best DD on investments, the best business model, and yet still have been a financial mess. And so, or having tax orders, because it all comes down to what your beliefs are. So unless you're actively combating the mass mind with clearings and manifestation protocols and intentions, you'll keep getting what the world around you, what people around you are projecting onto you and family members. So that's why you need to learn and master manifestation and make that a high priority so you're not getting imprinted on by those around you and letting others determine your reality rather than you taking control of your own reality. <clears throat> we discussed how even the US government spent a fortune to actually investigate using quantum science and remote viewing to view the future and view targets and read data in a psychic way. And it's still used heavily at US government levels and world government levels. I then went through the seven steps I use for manifestation and create and formulate it. Get yourself into a brain state using basis of hypnosis and calming the mind and quieting the frequencies. Um, not really this hypnosis, but that's the best word I can use to give an example. It's not really that. It's more just learning to get your brain into a deep state, relaxed state. Commanding the manifestation, not just hoping, because hoping doesn't do anything. You must command. Using codes or pictographs, because all research shows that words have about 7% effectiveness on your communication and, your, and on what happens to you. 51 or, or almost 60% comes from codes, pictures, and images, and senses. So we use codes and pictures. We then clear blocks using the codes as well, relaying messages to your subconscious mind, taking immediate action, letting go, and then seeing it happen. So we went through all that, gave various examples like manifesting more money in your business, mentioned about how important you'd be more specific, like say 10,000 a month or 50,000 a month rather than saying just more money one day or I hope I get better, rather saying I'm in excellent health, whatever it is. I gave various like testimonials or case studies and I went through all of them, which I won't read through now. There's a heap of them. You can see that in the two-hour webinar. And so there's about seven testimonials we put here of people, eight in fact. I gave an example how I used manifestation to get an amazingly good result in my own tax audit. Then I went through and helped everyone create a manifestation for themselves. And we went through to brain states and explained how you got four different brain states and if you can get yourself into theta or alpha, you will be able to start manifesting much easier than in a normal day-to-day -day brain state. We looked at the chakras and proven energy points, which you're clearing. And then we gave the example of the command we use using Sanskrit and higher level language to go ahead and do the clearing and activate the manifestation. 
and clear the blockages as well. And here's the example of the, one of the codes that we used. So we then went through and took some questions, but then we went through and made the course offer. So the course offer, we went through what was next. We explained about releasing the miracles of manifestation in your life. It's a nine class transformation with a 10 class to finish off. This is what we gave. In summary, low cost, yeah, believe me, it costs 500,000 or more, probably more like a million, but that's probably being conservative. Benefits as a give. Yep, I went through just to give you a little bit of an idea about what you can get out of it, like financial miracles, reading energy. And these are all things, by the way, that people have reported. So these aren't just things I'm making up. I don't believe in doing that because of karma and things like that. Making more quality decisions and opportunities to make more money, getting better investments and you know repelling bad ones and attracting good ones, creating like an inner mental program or filter, becoming immune to scammers, governments, all that stuff. We went through how you can clear negative associations, blocks, belief systems, things that people have all reported. And we went through what's covered. So all about learning the laws of manifestation, energy reading, how it works, the advanced energy reading, how to use things to clear energy and use energy, using it in your tax and asset protection, using it in investing in business and in business, and review, and the truth was, although it's eight weeks and nine weeks, well, in reality, the ninth week's a bonus. In reality, the last time we done the course ended up being 10 weeks because we spent extra time on helping people with the business investment side of things. So I always believe in giving over and above what we promise people. We always give a money back guarantee. We also went through and explained who's suitable and who's not for the course and saying that Obviously, we want motivated people who are going to learn and take it seriously, not people who are kind of looking for, you know, some magician to go and change their awful life for which they'll take no responsibility. That's not what we're about. But we always give a guarantee. So if you come to a couple of classes and don't like it, you can just pull out that easy. So then we offered some final questions. And once that was all done, we went from there. So look, anyway, if you desire to actually attend uh, or watch the longer video and get more info, you can look in the description and you'll see it in there. So the description, we've got a link to it. And then that way you can go and watch the, the longer video. Anyway, well, thank you very much and look forward to hopefully seeing you at one of our programs or one of our courses.